Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have some self-study courses about manifesting your specific person. And I do have a members-only channel with a lot of perks for members, including weekly live workshops with a different manifesting topic each week, weekly live group coaching, a lot of exclusive content, monthly challenges for a chance to win a free one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, and a lot more. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box, click on them and they're going to take you to my website or to the membership channel. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to talk about one method that is very simple that anyone can implement, yet it is not talked about almost at all on how you can very, very quickly, almost instantly improve your mental diet and your thoughts, your feelings, your states, your resistance. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So like I just said, this is something that is very simple. Everyone and anyone can implement it. And for some reason, it is something that is not talked about almost at all in the manifesting community. So today I wanted to bring some light into this because I find it to be something very, very important. It is definitely something that has helped me maintain a better mental diet without effort. It is something that has helped me control my thoughts, my feelings, my reactions to things much, much more easily. And it is something that I want you guys to know about because in my opinion, it is something very important. And this is a conversation that I've been having with a lot of my coaching clients lately. So I thought it was worth making it into a video in my public channel as well. And hopefully many of you who listen to this message actually benefit. So what is this method? What is this way which you can implement and which can help you instantly, or if not instantly, very, very fast, Start changing your mental diet, your thoughts, your feelings, your reactions, your responses to the 3D, and so on. This, you guys, is being very, very careful about what you consume in terms of media, social media, books that you read, music that you listen to, and everything and anything which is external and which you are choosing to consume and to internalize. And I know I've talked in the past in other videos about watching tarot card readings, psychic readings, astrology, numerology, and all these things. We've discussed a few times about Neville Goddard's uh, Pearl of Great Price concept, which is one of his most fundamental teachings and one of his most important teachings. And so if you're addicted to any of those things, you want to start tampering off that addiction because it certainly doesn't help you and it can certainly affect your mental diet when it comes to your manifestations. However, it goes beyond that. It goes to what programs and what shows you watch on TV. There are so many, for example, reality TV shows that are about dating, about relationships, about family, that perpetuate so many stereotypes and they perpetuate so many limiting beliefs that many of you are adopting unconsciously and unquestioningly as the truth, allowing yourself to be socially conditioned to these beliefs. There are many even fictional stories and fictional shows that once again perpetuate all of these stereotypes, all of these limiting beliefs, all of these limiting assumptions about how societies are supposed to function, how human relationships are supposed to be structured, how people are supposed to feel, how people are supposed to think, how if someone says this or that to you, it definitely means that they feel this way towards you. These are just some examples and there are a million of them, you guys. Same with the books that you read, the magazines that you consume, the social media that you consume. Of course, that's huge. How many times do I get comments here on my videos? This YouTuber said that, this coach said that, that other coach said that. You guys, you need to start developing some discernment over what you consume, what benefits you, what feeds your limiting beliefs, 
and your limiting assumptions and further reinforces any social conditioning that you already have. We all have social conditioning. We all uh, were born into it and were raised into it. And so you need to start developing some, some discernment over what it is that you're consuming, what it is that you're allowing to enter your mind. Another example, I know many of you, also many of my coaching clients are watching also not just manifesting coaches, but a lot of the dating coaches. And this isn't to throw shade at anybody, but if you are selecting conscious manifesting as your way of operating in life, as your lifestyle, you need to realize that a lot of these dating coaches, I'm not going to say all of them, but I'm going to say a lot of them, their teachings are based, are, are deeply rooted in 3D and they are based on playing games. They are based on how not to be genuine with the other person and how to assume the worst out of the other person to get what you want. As you can understand, this is very, very different and actually quite antithetical and quite opposite to what we teach here in the conscious manifesting community. So again, that's another example. As I said, there are millions of examples. And I'm not going to say that all content that is out there is good or bad or beneficial or not beneficial. And at the end of the day, all realities exist. All opinions are valid, but the perspective and the point of view from which you choose to view reality is also going to determine your outcomes and the experiences that you get to have in this 3D reality. And so if you believe that, it has to follow that you have to be very, very careful about what views, what points of view and what perceptions and perspectives you allow yourself to see reality from. And the reason for that is very, very simple. What you allow to enter your mind is also going to determine what your thoughts are, what your assumptions are, what your feelings are, what your reactions and your responses are to the 3D, what meanings you give to things that come up in your 3D, what meanings you give to other people's behaviors, for example. And in a nutshell, what you allow into your mind is going to determine the ways in which you condition yourself to view life, to view the world, to view relationships, to view other people, to view reality, and so on. Whatever you consume, whatever you internalize, does not just stay internal. It also gets externalized through your thoughts, through your opinions, through your assumptions, through your limiting beliefs, through your social conditioning, and so on. And so what you allow to enter your mind is so crucial because this is going to determine your reactions to life, your opinions about life, and your perceptions of life, and the meanings you give life. And as such, it is also going to determine how much or how little, for example, you spiral over your manifestations, how much or how little you react to external circumstances, depending on how you are conditioned, depending on what your assumptions are, depending on what you perceive your limitations to be. So you see then how everything is a chain, how everything is not separate from the next thing. And if you truly want to be conscious and deliberate in what you create in your life and as your experiences and how you shape your 3D reality, you also have to be very, very conscious and very, very deliberate about what you allow yourself to consume in terms of things that come externally. So for example, TV, social media, books, music, shows, and so on. And I'm not advocating going nuclear here and banning everything from your reality, banning all enjoyment, all entertainment, never going to the movies or never watching a movie on Netflix or I don't know what. But what I'm advocating for is for you to be very, very careful in what you consume that could be feeding your insecurities, your fears, your limiting assumptions, your chances of spiraling over what is happening in your reality, especially if you're manifesting things that matter to you and you find yourself having a lot of resistance and spiraling often, a big part of that, I guarantee you, is because of all the content that you're consuming. Because this is what shapes and forms your thoughts, your assumptions, and your perceptions about yourself and about life. And I speak from personal experience when I tell you that ever since I started being a conscious manifestor, I also started being very, very conscious and very deliberate in what I actually consume. I was telling a client recently that I don't watch TV. They were talking to me about um, a series on Netflix and I had no idea what they were talking about because I don't watch TV. I've become very, very deliberate in what I allow to enter my mental and emotional space. I am very, very protective, fiercely protective of my mental and emotional space, of my inner peace, my inner world, my energetic field, if you will. And so the things that I consume 
are things that I know are not going to hurt me or harm me in terms of my mental diet, my limiting beliefs or whatever in any way. And if I sense that something is about to cause a spiral in me, is about to cause uh, a mental or emotional reaction in me, I do have the discipline to turn it off. And this is something that I would advise you guys to start exercising as well and start practicing. You are going to see a huge difference very, very fast. For some of you, it may even be immediate in how you're thinking, how you're feeling, how you're interpreting reality, how you perceive the things that happen around you and so on. So this is the message of today's video. Be deliberate about what you consume because what you consume determines to a big, big, huge extent your mental diet, your assumptions, your perceptions, your opinions, at the end of the day, your social conditioning. And if there are parts of your social conditioning that you are working on letting go of, as the vast majority of all of us are doing, you want to be very, very careful and very deliberate about what you consume in the sense of external content. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content, I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.